coverage from Sarah Jessica Parker. Okay, I was not a big fan of Sex and the City. I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't like the movies either. But when I tried Stash, Sarah Jessica Parker's perfume, I was just like, wow, this is amazing. And so I went back and I got the flankers. So I got to looking at the other perfumes in her range because so far none of her perfumes have disappointed. So I decided to try and order Covet. So first of all, the bottle is so adorable. I love how squat it is. Quite unusual so far compared to all of the other bottles that I've had. And I love the flower shaped top. It's like a dahlia, like an orange dahlia or something like that. But yeah, I think that this is really, really cute. Um, so based on the box, the colors of the box, I'm expecting something fresh and green. And according to Fragrantica, the top notes are lavender, Sicilian lemon, dark chocolate, and geranium leaf. Geranium leaf is quite bitter. Dark chocolate is also quite bitter. So I'm expecting a more mature fragrance, I guess. And um, the middle notes, it's uh, honeysuckle, magnolia, and lily of the valley. So we've got the uh, triple on turn to off the white florals. Not too bad. The base notes, it's cashmere, wood, musk, teak wood, vetiver, and amber. And I have to say that I'm coming round to vetiver. It's, it's becoming something that when it shows up in a base note, I kind of think that it might be a good thing. So I'm going to try this on the back of my skin. I can't get anything off of it. And I think it's because it's never been sprayed before. Ooh, the atomizer is very nice. It's a good atomizer. Ooh. Hmm. So the opening is very sharp. I'm getting the lemon um, straight away in the opening. But once that filters off, there's the lavender beginning to come through. I'm getting the smoothness of the dark chocolate, definitely. It is quite unusual. There's the dryness coming through. There's definitely a greenness to it, um, a freshness. I would, the lavender is coming out quite strong for me on here. It's definitely coming out quite strong. The slight, very slight soapiness um, at the moment. But it warrants a further try. I definitely want to try this immediately. Initially, I am thinking I could wear this in spring, potentially in summer, depending on how we do with that soapy lavender note that seems to be um, coming through. But it's intriguing. I keep on trying to... I keep on wanting to sniff my hand to get more out of it. So this is a blind buy, both of these, by the way. I had no idea what they would smell like. I just bought them um, based on the fact that I've enjoyed the Sarah Jessica Parker perfumes that I have had so far. But quickly, I just wanted to point out how cool this is. So this is the cap. And it's got kind of like a, a ring. And when you pop it back on... <laughs> I think that is a very unique and innovative design, absolutely. But I do love how squat the bottle is. I can, I feel like I can just go around holding it like this. But yeah, not too bad. And I've got it on my skin now, so I'll be able to check how it develops and how it evolves over the rest of the day. I think I'm beginning to be impressed by uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. So the second of the perfumes that I got in order to get free postage and packaging is Lovely Sheer from Sarah Jessica Parker. And the reason why I got this was because the top notes look really cool. It's got a Tunisian orange blossom, bergamot, and mandarin oranges. So I'm expecting something quite citrusy. I do, I'm searching for something that's got like a strong citrusiness to it and something that I can wear in spring. I'm already beginning to think about spring. The middle notes is gardenia, white woods, and pink pepper. I've quite liked pink pe pepper in fragrances so far. It's been quite really nice and zingy and uplifting. And then the base notes, it's uh, musk, crystal, em 
amber and vetiver. So again, expecting something a little bit dry, a little bit musky, because I think musky imparts a certain sultriness to a perfume. So I have to say that the bottle design, um, it looks very unusual for the notes profile. So given that it's got so many citruses in it, I don't think you can get that from the bottle itself. So I think that I'd be in for a surprise. So I'm going to use this other hand here. So what have we got? I'm not getting anything there. Let's see. Ooh, the atomizer is nice. Good control, easy to control whether you want a half a spritz or anything like that. But here we go. What have we got? Oh. <laughs> I'm getting an air freshener mode. <laughs> It's very, very uh, light, which of course I should expect that because it's called sheer, which I imagine means light. Um, but yes, yeah, very light. Uh, to say that I've done a full spritz, I'm really having to bring my nose right up there to get it. Mm, I am getting uh, this the citrus uh, burst. Definitely more orange blossom than mandarin orange, I would say. The vetiver is very, very mild. I'm, I'm not getting a very strong dose of vetiver. But it's very light. The musk is coming through now. Hmm. It could grow on me, despite the initial kind of like air freshener vibe that I got straight away. But I can say that... Um, the, the initial burst of smell just dissipated very, very quickly. So in terms of longevity, just basing on this experience, I don't think it would last very long um, on me, but we're going to tell as we wear this for the rest of the day. But I think I could see myself trying to wear this in uh, early spring. Definitely worth a try. And also, my experience with Stash was that it wasn't, oh, love, at first sniff, you know, I had to wear it for the whole day, and then it really came through. So I'm willing to give these perfumes a chance, even though they didn't exactly wow me. Um, if you could let me know in the comments box down below if there's a Sarah Jessica uh, Parker perfume that you would <laughs> recommend, I'd appreciate that. It will probably save me time and money from doing blind buys if I actually get recommendations. Um, so yeah. Ooh, this is coming sweet. The covet. This is coming, becoming sweeter with time. So only time will tell. I will be back to report on how I get on with this, to do like full reviews and comment on sillage and longevity and that sort of thing, you know, all that fun stuff. And if that's your gig, then please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.